guys, it's Jess and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by today. And hey, if it's your first time here, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. That would be awesome because I'm posting videos all the time, at least once a week though. And if you like this, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Anyways, for today's video, I am going to be showing you what's in my backpack. It is my, today was my second day of senior year. It has been like pretty good so far. Like honestly, I'm really happy with my schedule and with everything that's going on. I like my teachers, life is good. And I thought these videos are so fun, but I didn't want to pre-film this because I was like, mm, I was like, I want to do this when it's the real deal. So I have my backpack here. I just got home and I'm going to show you what's in my backpack. So the first thing, this, I have been carrying a water bottle recently. Today I carried a cup. This is the water bottle I'm going to carry. You've probably seen it in videos before, but I just thought it was in my room and I thought I would show you. Honestly, in like a month, I'm going to like not be as like peppy and I'm going to carry a plastic water bottle and recycle them. But for now, I'm carrying like actual water bottles. So my backpack is a one of the small Jansport ones. Like it doesn't have like three pockets. It doesn't look small. Look, see how much stuff is in that? That's me overpacking. It's fine though. I like to carry a bunch of stuff in my backpack in case I need it. So you will see quickly that I carry a ton of stuff. So the first thing in my backpack actually on top is my glasses case that has my sunglasses that I post in every single Instagram photo. Also, if you're not following me on Instagram, those are down below. The next thing in my backpack is my calculator, my TI-84. I haven't used it yet, and it sounds like I'm not gonna use it that often pre-cal because we um, don't use calculators on our test. How will I pass? We'll see. The next thing I have is my pencil bag, which I actually just got from Forever 21 the other day, and I am obsessed with this. If you can't tell, it is a makeup bag with pizza all over it. I went to Forever 21, and I was like, I have to find a pencil bag today and I started to buy this one with cactuses on it. It was cute. Cacti, cactuses, cacti. Anyways, I got this like last minute I saw this. It was on clearance and I was like, I have to have it. And the guy, when I was checking out, he was like, just so you know, um, clearance items are final sale. And I was like, just so you know, I love this. So basically this is the perfect size. Um, oh, got trash in it, oops. It holds everything I need because I can hold like, I want to have like my stack of post-it notes and I want to have like a bajillion pens for my planner and I want to have like, um, what is this? What, the, I want to have white out. Correction. Correction tape. Yes. Basically, it holds everything and I like it a lot. Then you get into actual books. Gross. Not really. Um, then I have How to Read Literature Like a Professor and The Age of Innocence, which are the two books I read over the summer for my AP Lit class. We're about to take a test on them. It's going to be awesome. Anyways, actually, by the time you're watching this, I've probably taken the test, so hope it's fine. The next thing in my backpack is um, my favorite thing. It is my passion planner. I got a new passion planner for this school year and you know I love my passion planner. If you don't know that, well, you do now. So I have decorated some photos in the front of it, um, some old Polaroids, and basically I'm obsessed. This is, wait, one of my post-its is coming off. This is like what my weekly, you can't even tell. It's just, I write so much. I plan everything. I make a billion to-do lists and I write myself so many notes. So this is what keeps me organized with my busy schedule for like YouTube, school, life, everything. Then we have some spirals. So this purple spiral I'm using for AP Lit and then this blue one I'm using for pre-cal. I don't have them labeled yet. I don't usually get them mixed up, but um, I'm probably going to come up with some sort of cute sticker or print something, make a cute decal. I'll do something fun or I'll lose motivation for guys said that, but like my goal is to do something fun. I have a folder I got from my English class that actually has nothing in it, but apparently it will have stuff in it. This right now is my temporary homework folder that has papers falling out of it. That's got like my schedule. It's got my the syllabi, syllabi. I hate that word. It has all of the syllabi I have been receiving. I don't know why, like I can say syllabus, but syllabi is like, ugh. it's the same thing, cacti, syllabi, not a fan. <laughs> Anyways, the final thing in the big pocket of, oh, oh no, there's papers in there that are not supposed to be wrinkled. Okay, well, there's some papers in the bottom of my backpack. The real final thing in the big pocket of my backpack is my laptop and it's my school laptop. It's a Lenovo, it's got my name on it but it is what I use when I'm studying at school. They're school issued laptops, so most people have them. And it's just helpful because it's got a bunch of good editing stuff on there. It's got like Photoshop and it's got InDesign and stuff I use for school. Now moving on to the fun pocket, if you ask me. So we've got the small pocket in the front and in this I have, let's just pull some stuff out. Okay, this I just put in because I needed it today. Um, it is one of those little lint rollers because sometimes you're wearing black or you're wearing white and you need it. Next, I have a bag of goldfish, which is honestly my snack of choice when I'm in a hurry. It's just always good to have this because 
sometimes you get hungry. I have my stress relief hand sanitizer. Always, always, always comes in handy. And it's good to just be the friend who has that in case you need it. Next, I have my headphones for my phone. This is just good because sometimes your teachers, if they ever let you like listen to music in class, I love that. And I have to be honest, sometimes I've even like, if I go in early in the mornings and work and stuff, I'll listen to like podcasts. I don't know, it's just good to have. Then I have a microphone for my iPhone. I, if you don't know, I'm in broadcast. And so we put on a show every day, a school news show. And I have to do interviews like a lot. So it's just always, it comes in handy at random times to just have this to plug into my phone instead of having to get a big camcorder and like a tripod I can just film on my phone. Then I have a scrunchie because I can never, I think there's another scrunchie. Yeah, I've got two scrunchies because just scrunchies are so important. Then whenever I do wear lipstick, um, I wore this lipstick today from MAC. I think it's Velvet Teddy, yeah, it's Velvet Teddy. So whenever I wear lipstick, I carry it in my backpack just in case I gotta reapply. And I always have just some chapstick. This is from the brand Carmex and it's just like, really? This one is always so good. It's just, it's nice, it's clear. It makes your lips look good. Like if you're not gonna wear lipstick, this is a good alternative. Is there anything else? Yes. Then I um, also just put in today, I have some e.l.f. Um, this is under, or what is this? This is eyeshadow primer that I use as concealer and I got my mom to get it and then she was like, I don't use it. And I was like, perfect, in case I need it during school, I will have that. And then the final thing in my backpack is my wallet and this is just important in case I need a little bit of cash or like my ID, cause I drive and so I need my driver's license. But yeah, that is everything that is in my backpack. I hope you guys have been enjoying all of my back to school videos. There's a few more to come. But um, yeah, if you want any like words on senior year or like things, I'm pretty new to being a senior um, two days in, but let me know down below what kind of videos you wanna be seeing cause fall is coming up. It doesn't really feel like fall where I live, but I would love to start filming fall videos. If you like this, be sure to leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe, help me get to 500. I would love to see you back here and my social medias. I'd love it if you'd follow me on those. Anyways guys, I hope you have an amazing week and I'll see you next time. Bye.